car hater here, you know, wasting time fucking supercharging. But today, it seems like it's going to be a little bit quicker. Yeah, 35 minutes my ass, but uh, yeah, I was just charging at like 100 kilowatts. It's a shame these motherfuckers don't ever charge at what they're supposed to, you know, like what, 120, 150, whatever the fuck it is. Who cares? Anyway, coronavirus, oh my God, we're all going to die. Ah, what are we going to do? Well, the fact of the matter is, is what? Over 300 million people in this country, and so far 20,000 have died. I think the odds are pretty much on your fucking side that you'll be okay. There's Dunkin' Donuts right there. Okay. Mm. And look at that fucking line. I don't know if you can see that Ford F-150 is moving. Hold on. Oh, look at that. It goes around the building. It's crazy. Now, here's the funny part. You know, the economy's fucked. Car business is fucked. There's a lot of fucking snowflakes who are so afraid they don't want to go out. And as a result, it's really the coronavirus is in the killer. It's having no fucking money. That's the problem. Now, the businesses that are open, they're actually pretty much flourishing. Um, they got another business over there called Pronto Pizza. It's fucking disgusting, the pizza. It's like a chain on Staten Island. And I noticed when it's open, it's busy as fuck, too. And the thing is, right now, certain businesses, they're just killing it. I was at Texas Roadhouse the other day when I was in the Poconos. And they had it set up in the parking lot where you can come and pick up everything. Very smart the way they did it. And, um, you know, they had it all, like, uh, numbered out what, what, what spot to go in. They actually social distance the cars. You know, one of the things I wish fucking people would do is social fucking distance when parking. Because the other day, of course, I went to Lowe's, and as soon as I come out, there's a fucking dickhead parked right next to me. I'm like, yo, what the fuck, man? It's like a parking lot like this, and and, and somebody's going to go park next to that fucking Solera over there, or right on top of it. It, it. it always seems to fucking amaze me. Here's the other thing I noticed. There's a lot of fucking complete assholes driving around with masks on while they're driving. Does your car have coronavirus in it? Is is that what you're fucking thinking? How stupid is that? And of course, look, this fucking shit has this thing here. Biohazard. Ah, it actually smells when you put it on. But anyway, it's got this biohazard feature here where you can, um, it's got like a huge HEPA filter in there and you can uh, basically get out anything out of there. Yeah, if you believe that too and you're a Tesla owner, you're a complete fucking moron. Well, but they're morons too, you know, they don't have a clue. So today I actually have to go to a dealership and hopefully, um, yeah, look at this, hopefully get some stuff going. You know, they keep procrastinating, procrastinating, procrastinating. And the thing is, even in this day and age, there are dealerships out there that are still not on social media. They don't have any idea that they, they, they're just up and coming, you know, now, one thing about this uh, virus, it's kind of forced dealers to sell cars online, which they never want to do. Now, here in the New York area, they got something called lease brokers. They got a lot of leasing companies. So they were the smart ones. What they did is what dealers refused to do, deliver vehicles. Okay. They truly did. They don't want to deliver vehicles. They're lazy as fuck, these car dealers. I know. I work for all of them. And leasing brokers create it. Oh, guys, we'll come to your house. We'll do the paperwork. Just sign. Everything's ready to go. We get you the best deal. And boom, the funny thing is, guess who supplies them those cars? Car dealerships. And they take huge losses when they do. So it, it's kind of ironic. Like they should be saying, well, hey, this guy keeps coming to me for like 50 cars a month. Why aren't I doing it myself instead of lo and losing all the money? What they'll do is they'll give away all the profit to go after something called stair step money. Okay, what stair step is, is just think of it like a step, okay? And it goes up. For each step and goal, which let's say, hey guys, if you sell 20 cars, you get 10 Gs, 30 cars, you get 25 Gs, and so on and so forth. And don't think there's not a lot of money. Some, especially for Nissan. This is why Nissan's almost out of fucking business, because they have no profits. What Nissan dealerships do is they chase that stair step money. They don't chase profitability at all on the vehicle, the front end or the back end. 
they just chase the goal that is created for from Nissan corporate. So let's say they got to sell 100 Nissans. They may get $150,000 back from Nissan. I'm not exaggerating with these numbers either. Big numbers, big goals, and big business. At the same time, they let all the profit go, and that's why you see so many fucking rogues on the street, guys. You ever notice that the Nissan Rogue and the Nissan Sentra are like the number one and number two vehicles out there? They're all leased, every single one of them. That's the ticket. So this is what has created no profitability for Nissan, and yet they're still allowing it to happen. The other thing that dealerships do is they put their cars into something called fleet. So fleet makes them seem like they're sold, but they're really not. What fleet is, is if they put it into the rental, okay? The rental program, some of them they give as demos, barely demos anymore. It really doesn't exist, but that's another way to make themselves look like, hey, I sold all these cars this month and I made my goal. What then happens is they run them in the uh, the rental program. They put like two or 3,000 miles and then they cut them off maybe the next month or two. And it's just like always trying to catch up and just trying to always make that goal. But as a result, this has fucked up the auto industry instead of good old fashioned profit. Now, let's see, which I doubt, that now the dealers are forced to kind of deliver cars, take appointments, you know, get to the 21st fucking century. Let's see if they actually will do it when this all ends. Guess what, guys? I really don't think they will. And if they did, these leasing companies in these big cities like around here, they would be out of business. And it's not very th difficult. Think about it. If you have two people who are involved in this, one person's the driver, the other person is the catch car. Go to the person's house, have all the paperwork ready to go, blah, blah, blah. Or same thing. When the person comes in, everything's ready to go. Just sign and drive. You know, there's something called verify on the, you know, they just make it so difficult. There's so much paperwork. And I'm sorry, but in today's age, I just don't think it's all necessary. It's a real fucking shame. You know, but even with uh, when I bought the car on Carvana, you know, there was still a lot of bullshit to go through at the end of the day. Yeah, they had a verify where you kind of like squiggly signed it or whatever it was. I forget what it was, but it was a lot to do. My best experience with automobile would probably be with Audi's, um, it's called Silver Car, their rental program. You download the app, okay? You do everything. I think you take a picture of your license, blah, blah, blah. When you get there, you show the guy the phone, okay? Okay, no problem. They th he think he uh, scanned it, whatever. He's like, oh, choose which car you want. Just scan the car and then it's yours. And I was like, wow, this is fucking simple. I don't know if you ever rented a car before. Go to Enterprise, it's a fucking nightmare takes forever. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. You got to do paperwork. See, that's how it should be. Simple, short, and fast. You should just be able to scan your license and that's it. Social security card number, boom. Verify it with your signature and go. Get it together. These car companies really need to do it. It's funny, a lot of these dealers right now too, they're implementing online buying. I know for a fact that no one, customers, they're not even going to utilize it. I know they're not. They're just not going to do it. It's kind of funny, but it's not really happening. So a lot of the deals, I set up programs that, hey, we'll, we'll deliver. We've been doing a lot of campaigns, a lot of advertising. You think anybody's actually doing it? No, they're still coming to the dealership. So even the people, they still actually want to come in and get raped. It's kind of strange. So yeah, we'll see what happens. But figured I'd do a car hater. Wow, that was like, what, nine minutes of fucking bullshit too. And I'm, I got more. But whatever. Killed a little time while charging. See how fucking slow this is? It's only up to 134. <laughs>